It's not every day you see South African women of a certain age playing football in central Moscow. But these ladies are anything but ordinary. They're part of a football team which was founded more than a decade ago to encourage women in rural areas of South Africa to exercise together. They call themselves the Granny's Granny's Club. Um, Bakegula, Bakegula, we are starting at Dan village. Uh, who was so many people, who was few, um, until today. So today I think we are 40, more than 40 people. And I've heard that one of your team members, maybe it's even you, is, is called the Maradona of the team, a midfielder. Is, is that right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Are you the Maradona? Yes! <laughs> yes! The team meet twice a week for an hour's practice. The oldest member is 83. They had hoped to see South Africa compete in the World Cup. The fact they didn't qualify hasn't dampened their spirits. I was watching Russia play against Egypt. I was watching it on the big screen and I really cheered when Russia scored. They're on a whirlwind tour of the capital, taking in the sights with their flag and Vuvuzela close by. Anna and Miriam have travelled a long way to get here and they are causing quite a stir in Moscow's Red Square. Everyone wants to have a selfie with them and of course play a bit of football with them as well. Very fantastic. For all uh, the women in this um, category of ages. Empowerment uh, ladies now can do anything they believe to do in life, not only sports. Um, I think for her it's really cool <laughs> because my grandma can do this. Back at home, they're local stars and they're here to show that no matter what your age, football is for everyone. Jessica King, ENCA, Moscow.